Christmas, the most wonderful time of the year. Well, not really typical. I mean, winter makes it feel like so much work for us engines. Hello, Thomas. Oh, hello, Doc. Got to get my presents back. What presents? What what is he gonna do with presents? Hmm. I gotta get to wrapping my presents too. What's with everyone wrapping their presents? They they can't do it themselves. I mean, they're trains, especially me. <sighs> hi, Thomas. Oh, hi, James. Don't you have to wrap your present for the big Christmas party? Certainly not. I wrapped my presents weeks ago. Uh, well, where are they? Um, you you wouldn't really want to know. They're, they're, they're just pretty much trucks. Uh, you just told me what your present was. Oh, God. Okay, well, what about you, Thomas? What present did you get Percy? <gasps> oh, Percy's gift. I was so busy with the decorations that I couldn't get him a gift. What? Thomas, how could you? He's your best friend. I know. W which present should I give him? Well, what does he like? Hmm, something Percy is fond of. Um, he likes pulling the mail, uh, shunting, uh... James, do you remember the time when he stayed out all night and got covered from funnel to footplate and icicles? Don't remind me that, Thomas. Oh, please, James. You were so scared when you thought Percy was Jack Frost. That was a long time ago. Okay, well, I don't think snow is an appropriate Christmas gift. <sighs> You're right. I need to ask someone else to see if they know any good gifts I can give to Percy. Hey, Toby. Oh, what is it, Thomas? I can't think of anything I should get Percy. Do you have any ideas? Well... Maybe he'd like new brakes, or maybe a new whistle. Well, I do remember that time when he sunk Bulstrode by pushing in so many trucks. Oh, yeah, right, right. But that was still a long time ago, right? Yeah. I also remember when he saw Splatter and Dodge, and he went to tell you about Diesel 10 and the Lost Engine. Yep, I remember that too. Hmm. Come with me, Toby. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Thomas. Oh, hey, Toby. What are you two doing here? Well, we did get some more presents. Looks like we're ready for the party. Not all of us. I still haven't thought of a gift I could give to Percy. Still no gift for Percy, Thomas? I'm afraid not. Wait, hang on a minute. I think I'll ask some of the animals at the animal park if they have any ideas. What did he say? I think he said he's gonna ask some animals at the animal park if they have any ideas. That sounds kind of stupid. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go shunt some more presents for the party. Ah, I can't take it anymore. Eating a burger with no honey mustard. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, please. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to ask you... Can you think of a gift I can give to Percy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Whoa, whoa, no, hey, what are you doing? Put me down, put me down! I wonder what's taking Thomas so long. <laughs> Whoa, Thomas, what happened to you? Um, 
the animals sure got Percy something. Mm. So now what? Maybe Cranny and the excavator can help. So I rolled up to him and said, Honk. And then he said, Hong Kong. And then I said, Hong Kong. And then he said, Hong Kong. And then I said, Hong Kong. And then he said, Honk. And I went, oh no, you Hong Kong. I have no idea what you're talking about. Cranny, excavator. Huh? Whoa, Thomas. What happened to you? It, it's a long story. Um... Have any of you thought of a gift I could give to Percy? Wait, you don't have a gift for Percy? But I... What happened? I know, I know. D do you, any of you have any ideas? Well, I'll tell you one thing. He brought up some trucks and handed it over to me to pour coal on. I put it in like this. Uh, excavator, what are you doing? Wait, no, 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 no! Whoa, Thomas, what happened to you? <coughs> uh, I asked Cranny and the excavator if they can think of a present I can give to Percy, and the excavator pulled coal dust all over me as he said that Percy brought him some trucks to pour coal on. Oh dear, Thomas, you really got to think of something spectacular for Percy. Yeah, and you better hurry up because... Okay, okay, I know, I know. The Christmas party is starting soon, and I don't have a present for my best friend. Well, you two have shared so many good times together. You're such good friends. Yeah, with so many good memories. You must know him very well. You can think of something. I don't know, Toby. All these memories are great, but I can't use them as a present. Wait. Maybe I can I need to get a wash first. Are we almost ready to start opening? I am really excited. Um, you're kind of close to me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is so exciting. I know it is. Merry Christmas, everyone. Man, Thomas is going to love this kind of coal. I sure hope he comes up with something just as special. Hey, where's Thomas anyway? Uh, well, Percy, you, you see, um, well, the, the thing is, Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, there he is. This is for you, Percy. Uh, what's in it? It's a memory book. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Here, uh, let me see it. <laughs> There's me as Jack Frost. And that was when I sunk Bullstrode by pushing in so many troublesome trucks. Well, do you like it? Well, I don't love it. I just like it. It's good. Oh. Well, how did you think of such a good gift like that, Thomas? Ah, uh, it was easy. Well, sort of easy. Merry Christmas, Thomas. Merry Christmas, Percy. And that was the story of how Thomas the Tank Engine got, well, not really exactly the perfect gift for his best friend, but still a really good one. Oh! Hey, what did I miss?